This is Banjo. Today I'm taking a look at the startup procedure for the AH64D Apache released for DCS World. We'll start off with a brief look at the two cockpits. Here we can see the pilot's cockpit. And pressing the 2 key we'll move over to the gunner cockpit. And we can see the gunner's cockpit, including the IHADS monocle, which I've disabled on my pilot with the I key. So now we'll move over to the left console and move the power selector into battery uncover and enable power to the APU. As the APU spools up, power to the left and right MFDs will be supplied, at which point we'll move over to the right MFD and move into the tactical situation display to begin our INU alignment. To do this, we'll select TSD in the bottom left of the MFD and then Utility in the top right. At this point, to begin the alignment, we'll select the OSB next to Doppler, and we can see the position confidence displayed in white. Once this turns green, we have sufficient alignment. So at this point, we'll begin our left engine start by moving the left engine start forward with the right click, and we can see Start On, indicating the engine is undergoing startup, and RPM increasing. So we'll pop the left throttle out of idle with right alt home, and disable our warning and advisors. At this point, We'll wait for the engine to start up and close the cockpit door. Once the engine is start up, the on indicator above start will disappear, at which point we could repeat the process for the right engine by right clicking on the right engine selector, and we'd see the process begin again for the right engine. So I'll move the right throttle out of idle with right shift home. So at this point, we'll simply wait until the engine finishes spooling up before moving on. Now that both engines are running up to 66 RPM, we'll move the throttles forward into the fly position, at which point RPM will increase to 100%, and we see torque increase to about 16. Now at this point, I'll move over to the fuel page and enable the auxiliary tank with the OSB next to auxiliary before setting the MFD into my desired mode, which in this case is flight. So at this point, we'll disable the APU, since the engines are up and the generators are supplying power, and we're still waiting on alignment. So at this point, we'll handle our comms, since I need 140 for this airbase, as we can see here in F10. To do this, we'll move over to the communications page in the bottom right of the MFD and select manual. At this point we select the radio we wish to change the frequency for, and input the desired frequency, then hit enter. And we can see on the EUFD, the frequency has been changed. So at this point we're simply waiting on the INU alignment process to finish. So we'll go over a couple of things in the cockpit. On the left panel, on the left side of it, we can set up our lighting as desired, and we can unlock the tail wheel with a push button on the front of that left console. The parking brake is handled with a lever under the left MFD, and we can uncage our standby attitude indicator by right-clicking and dragging down on it. Below, this panel adjusts audio levels for warning and advisories and radios. And finally, we can enable our countermeasure system by cycling power to on, and we can arm it if we so choose, but I'm going to leave it off since we're on the ground. So at this point, we're waiting on alignment, so I'm just going to speed up until that's done, and we'll see that in a moment. And here we're able to see the position confidence has turned green, indicating the INU is sufficiently aligned. So we'll set up our MFDs as desired. I'm going to enable the HSI for my TSD display, and at which point I'm going to roll out, disabling the parking brake, increasing some collective, and pushing forward on the stick to begin taxiing. And that concludes this video covering the startup procedure for the AH-64D Apache in DCS World. It's been a while since I made a video, but this aircraft is pretty interesting and I do plan on making more in the near future. See you around.